Hey, I got my good buddy Mike Phillips from AutoGeek.net in the shop with me today. And Mike, what are we going to talk about today other than this gorgeous 31 High Boy? Well, I want to show you a new compound in the Pinnacle line. And while this 31 High Boy is beautiful, it is gorgeous. If you look, it's pretty common to see a lot of swirls in a paint job like this, especially over time. And especially on black. Black and dark colors, they, uh, they show the swirls. All colors get swirls, but black really shows it the most. In fact, just using just the light off my cell phone here. Oh, man. Just look at that. <laughs> and you can imagine this is what the sun's going to do if you had this out in the sun. So it takes away from the beauty of this car. Yeah, yeah. So can you, can I say, can you fix that? I can fix that. Let me put this <laughs> we, down over here. We have the technology, right? Yeah. So this is our new compound. And this is aggressive enough to pull out 1,200 grit sanding marks. And that's Ooh, really that, aggressive. And that scares me, actually. <laughs> I know. But <laughs> if you feel this between your fingers, go ahead. I'll just pour a little bit out there. Yeah. Feel that. You'd expect to feel wow. something like sand or it's rocks not. in a it's bottle. Like, it's like hand lotion or something. Exactly. So these are engineered abrasives. Okay. So instead of mined abrasives, something pulled out of the dirt and then sent through a filtering system. Uh, the chemists actually created this in a laboratory. The, the, the abrasives themselves. The abrasives so they are, themselves. They're engineered. Hence they're the name. Engineered. engineered. Abrasives. And that way they can control the sharpness, the particle size, the breakdown rate, everything about them. And the point is, is it's aggressive enough to pull these swirls out and finish out like a polish. So truly a designer abrasive. Exactly. It's a oh. designer <laughs> abrasive, yes. Now, the other thing I want to show you today is a lot of times when I'm on the show, I show you things like the Porter Cable. Yeah. A real simple, like easy to use tool. The, the one that I use. Simple yeah. and easy. Very simple important. Simple and easy. Now, if you notice, that one's what we call free spinning. Just spin yeah. the pad. See? It's not gear driven. No. And that's what makes it so safe. And a lot of people like it for that reason. You, yeah, you can't, you almost can't screw up again. That's why I use it. Exactly. Now, this is the Flex 3401. And this, the difference is, is this has a lot more power. It's German made. Yeah. It's forced oscillation. So watch when I pull the trigger. Yeah. It doesn't just rotate, it oscillates and rotates. And go ahead and spin that with your hand. Oh, yeah. No, that, you can hear the gears. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So a lot more power. Anyway, so the way this compound works is you just want to take and put some of this on the pad. It looks like a fair amount of it on the pad. Well, when it's a dry pad, I always like to prime it. That right, way, 100% right. it... of the sort of the pad is going to start going to work for me. And I've got some work to do there. <laughs> okay, so after I've got some of the product on there, I'm just going to take and, and put, put more on. This is what I call the working product. So that's primed. That's the product I'm going to work with. Okay. And then, of course, always put the cord well, over your always shoulder. Always put the, the cord over your shoulder. Don't turn the pad on until it's in contact with the paint. And I'm just going to buff out a section here so you can okay. see the difference between before and after. Spread my product out, and I'm going to bring my speed up. Then never lift the pad off till it stops spinning. Or you'll be wearing it. That's right. <laughs> now, watch how easy this wipes off. Oh man, it is not. It's like oh. wiping a wax off. And oh, and, and and I got a mirror here. Yes. Shall we bring out the light again? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's have a look here. So. So think. terrible swirls there. And, and that, like nothing. That was a black mirror. Now. And, and you did this in like no time. And, but the key is, this is a compound. Just think what we're going to do if we hit up the finishing polish and throw some wax on there. Well, and it, I mean, it looks wax now. It does. So this is really an addition to, to an already expansive and great line of products, the Pinnacle line. Exactly. So now we've got the advanced compound, the swirl remover, and the finishing polish, plus the show car wax. And that gives you results like these. And it does look marvelous. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn anything more about all these great Pinnacle products or the techniques you need to use them, log on to autogeek.net. Now, if I know you, you already know how to do this, so you're going to have me do the rest of the car. AutoGeek.net. We are car care.